एस चांद प्रेजेंट्स एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम today we will discuss the application of double integral so we have already done double integration and change of order of integration in the previous videos so today we will do the applications of double integral so hi i am dr neelam welcome to s chand academy so for details you can refer to the book of from s chand publishing for the details are given on this side and link is given in the description box so we will start with the topic so double integral has lot of application in real life so one few of them we will discuss here so first in the row we will discuss to find out the area of a curved region the first application of double integral is area so to find out area of any closed region so to find out the area of any closed region we can get the area as this is r and dx dy that is if there is no function to integrate but if we take fx y equals to 1 so then it gives the area closed by this region of integration so we will take few questions on this and then we will move to next uh, application so first is that we will find out the area of the region enclosed by this region of integration so we can take the question which uh, we have uh, discussed in the previous videos so we can take this example so if we take the find the area enclosed by the curves y equals to x and y equal to x square y equal to x and y equals to x square now let us try to see if the we it, the given information is enough for calculating the area or not so for this we will draw this curves so this is y equal to x square sorry this should start from here y equal to x square and this is y equal to x so this is the region for which we need to find out the area so as we have discussed in the previous videos that we need to find out the for the limits for x and y and then we need to integrate that so to find out the area of this region of integration so since we are taking a strip parallel to x axis so we need to integrate with respect to x first and therefore the values uh, the of the limits for x should be written in terms of y so therefore the lower end is lying on the line y equal to x so it should be written as from y x is moving from y to the parabola so upper end is upper end of the strip is lying on the parabola so that is y equal to x square and since it is in the first quadrant therefore x will be varying from y to under root y so this is dx and for dy we need to find out this this point so we need to find out what this value is it is very easy to find out so this is at this value of x is 1 here so x is moving from 0 to 1 so the value of this integration will be giving us the area of the region bounded by these these two curves y equal to x and y equal to x square so we need to calculate this so we will integrate it with respect to x first so it is 0 to 1 and it is x only so it is y to under root y and dy so if we substitute the limits for y that is under root y minus y dy then it has turned uh, it has been converted into a single integration which can be computed quite easily so you can compute it so it becomes uh, you can find out the value and that will that value will be the value of the area bounded by this region then this is the simple region where we can find out the area of that 
so this was the first application of for double integral so second application of integral is to find out the center of mass to find out the moment of inertia so we will uh, learn that how to find out the center of mass so for that let us say that we have been given the density as rho xy so this is the density of uh, this is the density given so if this is the density then we know that mass will be this is rho xy dx dy which is ne which needs to be integrated upon this region of integration as r then we need to calculate the first moments so first moments first moment first moments are named as mx and my so when we are calculating this mx so we need to multiply this rho xy that is density by y so it is y rho xy dx dy so over this region of integration r so this is called as first moment uh, corresponding to x and this is r so and if we multiply this is rho x y so they both have been called as first moments so they will be used in calculating the center of mass so the center of mass will be center of mass will be x bar so it is m x m y over m and y bar will be m x over m so this will be the center of mass here since we are covering with the applications of double integral so we have already studied the application of double integral in terms of area so we have already calculated the area of a closed region so next we will discuss uh, more application in next part so we'll see you in next part for more details please refer to the book for, from s chan publishing the uh, details of which are given uh, here and link is also given in the description box so you can uh, download it so if you have liked the video please like share and subscribe please press the bell icon in the uh, given below so that you will get the notification as and when next video will be uploaded thank you very much All rights reserved. This video has been prepared for educational purposes only. No part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder.